Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to get into some crazy things. What a crazy day we had yesterday. I think we went up uh, like 80 or uh, or eight or nine thousand dollars in a single day yesterday, guys, uh, for Bitcoin price anyways. Um, now, yesterday I was saying that that 89 level was was kind of a significant level. Um, I didn't think we were going to get there yesterday, actually, but, you know, this is what Bitcoin does. It, it surprises everyone, takes everybody off guard. So we're going to get into all of that, guys. We're going to look into a few things, um, what, I, what went on with the ETFs and all of that. I do want to kind of uh, get a little bit more into the charts and, and that $89,000 level. Um, explaining a few things you know i did some research yesterday looked into a few things and and kind of found out some new information so um we're gonna get into all of that guys stick around but before we do get into that i do want to jump jump over to the animal sanctuary that i'm kind of spotlighting this month this is rory pond rescue ranch guys um they, they have a ton of animals that they've taken into sanctuary that they're taking care of, abused, abandoned, neglected animals. If you guys can spare anything at all, a few dollars, uh, always super appreciated on my end. Just um, head down into the description of my videos this month and you will see the links to Rory Pond Rescue Ranch. I've left one to their, their homepage. Um, and one to the page that you're seeing on the screen right now. This is shop to support our animals. It is, if you go to their homepage, it's up in the upper right hand corner under more. And it's shop to support our animals. You can go over there. Um, they've got an Amazon wish list, a bonfire, uh, printify where you can buy some merch there and support their animals. Or you can just donate a few dollars via paypal or venmo uh so always appreciate it guys go help them out now i do uh want to jump over here and just show you guys what the etfs did yesterday um as you can see right here this was yesterday's flows uh this last column over here guys they did one billion one hundred and fourteen million dollars yesterday guys another billion dollar plus day for the etfs just swallowing up um bitcoin guys um this first first row obviously this is um blackrock ibits um etf they did 756 million um so blackrock alone didn't have their billion dollar day again but just another massive chunk of Bitcoin being swallowed up by Wall Street. So that was that was kind of uh, you know surprising, honestly. I think we'll we'll have to see what they do today. Honestly, these guys are doing deals over the counter, so what they do isn't initially felt in the market. So we'll probably see you know these these. Um, flows felt in the market just a, a bit later uh, when the over-the-counter market kind of adjusts and, and people are needing to buy spot and uh, it's kind of felt in the market um, later on. You know, it doesn't initially move the market as if they were buying straight from Coinbase, say. Uh, so anyways, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do today, even though price is, is coming down or, or kind of hanging out in the same range. Um, you know, it, you know, we could have another massive day today, despite the price action today, just because of the over, over the counter nature of these ETFs. Okay. So, uh, that said, guys, I do want to jump over to the charts and show you guys, you know, uh, yesterday, um, I think I was, let's see, I think I was making, uh, my, my video yesterday, right around in here. Um, and then we just kept climbing and, and blasted off really right here. 
And you guys can see in that video yesterday I made, I, I pulled the Fibonacci from the uh, top that we set in March down to that $49,000 when we dipped on that uh, Japanese yen. And this was the, the 1.618 level right here, this blue line, uh, which coincided with what I had heard before about the uh, the uh, 5.3 theory guys I've been kind of mentioning that and it was that $89,000 that you know coincided right perfectly with that that Fibonacci level and I I said you know that could be an area where we we hit and kind of you know either consolidate or pull back a little bit from we might take a few times of testing that level before we break out now we could do that today, guys, as you guys have seen the last week or so, things move quick in Bitcoin. So we could, you know, at the moment we've kind of retraced off that, but we could retest that by the end of the day. Um, you know, if, if not, we, we definitely will be, you know, kind of retesting it in my opinion in the next week or so. So, um, could could see some action there but the one thing that i did after i made that video yesterday i did go back and i i watched a few videos on on the uh 5.3 theory just to make sure i was giving you guys um accurate information turns out that the exact 5.3 level is actually 79 or 80,000 so we have already passed the 5.3 theory. Now, the 89 uh, level that I, I was saying, I do absolutely remember um, the guy that came up, or at least claims that he came up with the uh, 5.3 theory, that I have, I've kind of uh, watched his stuff probably for over a year. I've kind of weaned away from watching him lately but i did remember him saying mentioning eighty nine thousand uh in accordance with the 5.3 but when i went back and watched the uh the videos yesterday that level actually is like i said at 79 or eighty thousand right in there uh but the, the thing that you guys have got to, to understand with with the guy that came up with this um and I won't call him out by name or anything here. Uh, you know, I don't want to do that at all. But in the videos I watched yesterday, just just to kind of give you guys an idea, um, you know, uh, one video I watched, he he came out and was saying how precise and how exact the 5.3 theory actually is. And it has been really accurate historically but uh you know he's claiming it's it's precise and it's exact and then in the same very same video guys 10 minutes later in his video he's saying well it's not exact it's it's kind of you know within one standard deviation and so i don't know if that eighty nine thousand dollars was a video i was watching where he was saying that the upper bounds of that standard deviation uh, was 89,000, um, or what, you know, if it was just one of his optimistic days that I had seen his stuff or what. Um, but I do specifically remember that $89,000 being mentioned. And, you know, I've been, I've, you know, I think when I saw that, uh, when I first came, um, into the 5.3 theory and, and actually heard of it, the first time I heard of it was, it was back 2023, right around um, October, uh, September, probably August to October of last year. And I've, I've kind of been calling BS on it ever since I've heard it, because not only is that really, really low of what I really expect this bull, bull run to be, uh, not only that, but it's, it's an unsustainable theory. Um, according to the 5.3 theory, 
the next bull run, if we hit 89,000 and that's it for this bull run, after that, you know, according to the 5.3 theory, we will never, ever, ever see another all time high in Bitcoin for the, forever. Uh, so it's not sustainable. And, uh, you know, I don't know what, like I said yesterday, I really can't imagine a world where that is the case. Um, but again, guys, I did watch some of those videos and just, just again, to give you guys an idea of the guy that came out with this theory, you know, he's, he's, you know, in the videos that I watched him yesterday, he's saying that he deserves a Nobel prize. Uh, you several times he he mentioned that he deserves a Nobel Prize for this theory, and you know it, it automatically makes alarm bells go off in my mind, and uh, kind of takes me back to this the uh, crypto saying you know stay humble stay humble and stack sats guys uh, you know that's that's all it is you know just stay humble because. Not only does Bitcoin make fools of people who don't believe in it, but if you get overly um, confident, it will make a fool of you as well. So, uh, you know, just stay humble. I That's why I don't really err on here what I think Bitcoin is really going to go to this cycle. I don't really even like telling people personally that, but... Um, you know, when I do bring you guys price predictions, it's always, you know, it, it's a narrative kind of thing. Um, you know, back in early this year, I brought you that 18 days after we hit an all time high, you know, after like two of the three cycles that we've hit all time highs after 18 days after that, it doubles. Well, that didn't happen, but I did bring you guys that because it was a narrative. Um, but I don't really give you guys my personal, you know, predictions, um, because I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Um, the, the last one I, I kind of brought to you guys was that $117, uh, price by the end of the year, but that wasn't really a prediction. That is just a fact of, uh, the previous having cycles, the, the third or the fourth quarter of previous having cycles averaged that would lead us to $117,000 Bitcoin. Now it could blow that out of the water. As we've seen this last week, we've gained $20,000 in the price of Bitcoin over the last seven days. Um, so at that pace, we could blow way over 117,000 by the, by the end of the year. Um, or it could, you know, we could, you know, start evening out and, and not hit 117 by the end of the year. Nobody has a crystal ball guys. So, uh, I, I kind of give you guys levels to watch. I give you interesting statistics on, on where things could go. Uh, but I don't, I, I'll never tell you exactly, you know, where Bitcoin's going. And so when I do this, when I, you know, I thought about this yesterday when I, I said, you know, we could hit 89,000 and kind of retrace a bit. I am not ever sell like telling you guys to sell or trade on this. The last thing you want to be do, uh, to happen is, you know, expect this to retrace here and we blast just straight through it and get left behind. Like I'm not trading at all. I'm, I'm, buying and holding. Um, and really, I think that's the safest way to go about it. I think that over 90% of people who try and trade Bitcoin end up losing. Um, so buying and holding, you know, if you want to trade the cycle, um, that's a little more, uh, you know, likely, but really if, uh, you know, when it comes to Bitcoin, I've said it before, and I don't plan on selling my Bitcoin ever unless something fundamentally really changes with with bitcoin or the world or whatever but you know right now the world is constantly every day going to be more digital and i don't see anything fundamentally changing with bitcoin either um 
some people would argue Bitcoin, these Bitcoin ETFs has, have fundamentally changed Bitcoin. I don't see that, but, um, you know, anyways, guys, I, I don't recommend trying to trade, especially day trading, um, or trying to trade these things that I'm, you know, these levels that I'm bringing you either. I, I, I think they're, you know, especially with tax considerations, once you trade out, you're going to be taxed on it. Um, and you just never know if, if what you're, if you, even if you do hit that dip, if it's even going to be worth it after you've created the taxable event for yourself. Um, so guys buy and hold, that would be, you know, that's what I'm doing. Obviously nothing on my channel is, is financial advice or anything, but, um, I think that's the safest route. So anyways, guys, um, a, a bit more on, on some things I'm looking forward to. I do want to do a video on alt season. I, I also want to look at some other coins. Uh, Solana, uh, had a, had a tremendous day yesterday. It's actually down more than Bitcoin today. Ethereum is, is also doing really well. Um, there's a few other coins that I own that have have really done well uh, the last few days. But if you guys have any suggestions on coins that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Also, um, I, I do want to do a, a general video on alt season because that is something that hasn't happened yet this cycle. And it usually ends up being, you know, later in into the cycle, well after the halving that we kind of see alt season where alts just massively outperform Bitcoin. Uh, the thinking there is that people get into Bitcoin post having start seeing gains and start rolling some of those gains out of Bitcoin and into these smaller cap alts chasing bigger returns. So it it's happened every single cycle. Um, and I would imagine it happens this cycle despite the ETFs. Um, but who knows? I do want to do a video on that guys, but if you guys have any suggestions for videos, let me know in the comments. I'd love to, to help you guys out with things that you want to know. Um, also I've been thinking the last day or so I do want to do a giveaway on this, uh, this channel. And I've been thinking of, you know, through the logistics of how I would do that. And I think I've just about got it figured out. So guys stay tuned, you know, watch my videos. I should be coming out with that, uh, kind of giveaway that I want to do, um, in the next several videos. So once I get things absolutely locked down on all the logistics of it, I'll probably be making a video specifically on that. Um, but yeah, like subscribe the video. So, you know, uh, when I am, um, releasing that video and guys, as always very much appreciated that you would take time out of your day to watch my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.